What's up, Casual Clashers? I'm Gunshine. Today we're going to tip our hat to an awesome guild member of mine, Davroar. If you guys haven't heard of this guy before, you're going to hear about him and remember his name now because he has pulled off a feat that is absolutely amazing. He now has the record for the quickest boss time on T2. He killed it. He got the 80 mil in under two minutes, guys. So we're going to review exactly how he did it, try and break down, look at his team and evaluate the scenario and just watch this short two minute clip as he takes this boss out. Jumping right into it here, let's take a look at his heroes. You're going to see a pattern repeating itself here, guys, and that is that you have a lot of Berserk going on. You need this to get it really amped up, to get those buffs going off really strongly with the Pumpkin Duke and the Cupid. Now, there's one exception to the rule of the Berserk in this setup, and that's going to be revitalized on that Cupid. We need Revitalize on him so that we can get the buffs a little bit faster so we get that initial stun and then from there the train is just going to start wrecking the boss. The other reason why the Cupid is the only one that has Revitalize is he has a cooldown period for his proc of 6 seconds. Unlike Pumpkin Duke and all the others who can just keep going off and off and off. Now you're going to notice that this is a pretty standard team to be using in a boss battle. You got the Succubus to reduce the damage and land that 35k proc. You have Pumpkin Duke bringing in the mass stacks. He's one of the most important pieces of this puzzle. Without his quad stacking it would be impossible to achieve such a high damage output. Take note how he is proccing so often in this with the boost with Cupid as well that he's almost proccing every second and around the last 30 seconds of this match, he will be proccing once a second, which is just amazing. That is why you're able to do this obscene amount of damage. Another key component of any boss squad is going to be the Druid. He's the one that's going to be healing your team and also his proc is going to give an attack bonus to all your players. Yes, this proc does stack too, just like Pumpkin Duke and Cupid. You're not going to be seeing many, if not any, people taking up the boss without Druid. He is absolutely essential for your team on that T1, T2, and even T3. He's just an all-around super powerful hero when it comes to bosses. One hero that is known almost exclusively for boss battles, that's going to be the champion. You all know him, you've had him. He's that big old dwarf that looks like Gimli. He is great at boss battles with his skill. Warhammer is going to stun the boss for a total of 3 seconds, which is really going to be able to get you that stun train going. Every team needs a stunner when it comes to boss battles, and he is the best. No one does it quite like him. And the last hero on the squad is going to be Cupid. So powerful, so dangerous. He is a very hard hero to get. I'm sure we all want him, but not all of us are fortunate enough to get our hands on him. That sounds a little creepy. He is a little boy at heart. But pay attention to the video here, guys. You can see how fast everyone's proccing. You'll see that the skill bar on Cupid is maxing out before he procs every single time with his attack speed just so high. But he is when he procs, he's going to be boosting up all the other heroes so they proc even faster, even if him himself is going to have that huge delay because of that six second proc limit. If you guys wish to emulate this, take note that the hero's level is of little importance. The power comes from the high skills and the strong talents. Good luck to everyone getting to a point on contention, and my tip to you is if you want to improve on this total damage output, is to sub out Succubus for Reaper. That is the only way you're going to improve that damage. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and share, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Yeah,